Hey guys, so today we're going to do a quick first impressions review of the Kaniwaba Power Pedal Kit. Um, right off the bat, it seems to be pretty decent quality. What you get is the new hangers, the cranks, the pedals, and basically that gearing on the inside that makes it legit. This will actually drive the bike forward. Now, a couple of things to be aware of. You're not gonna ride it as a bicycle with these pedals because you're limited to about three miles an hour because of that gearing. The beauty of this system is that freewheeling sprocket in the middle, right, which will let you pedal, but then when the engine exceeds the speed of the pedaling, that just freewheels. I'm gonna show you what that means in a minute. Installation is really a piece of, uh, piece of cake. You take off your old mounts and your kickstand. And I would recommend when you do this, you don't follow the instructions that they have. It's a little bit complicated. They're not wrong. It's much easier to take off the kickstand spring while the kickstand is still mounted on the bike, unless you have a, a pretty good vise that's mounted somewhere. Um, and then they've got three different versions of this. They have the non-powered version which is everything except for the gears and the chain. They have this, the powered version, which of course includes the gears and the chain. And then they have a pedal assist version, which mounts a sensor here on the crank and actually has a little bit of electronics. But what we've got allows us to legally drive the back wheel from the pedals. More importantly than that, free wheels like we talked about when we put on a little bit of throttle you see that doesn't move and the pedals don't move and it makes this when you're in 20 mile an hour mode a legit class 2 e-bike now the challenge that I've had is the chain <clears throat> running through these two new gears makes a lot of noise in fact it's pretty tight there's no way to adjust it and it's not the highest quality thing. In fact, if you watch my Motorcycle Guy three-week review of the Suron X, and you listen closely in a couple of the spots in that video, you can hear some of the chain noise. So I've got this set up so that that chain is running as straight as I can possibly get it. It's hard to tell here. Actually, you can see that. I think that's the master link there which again is not the highest quality thing, right? <clears throat> so regardless of how I have this adjusted, and I, you know, I've, the instructions say loosen these two bolts, run it like that, let it find its own center and tighten it up. This is the modified version where there are flat spots on the bar, which is cool. I just can't get it right. So I spent $20.00 and bought a heavier replacement chain. I'm gonna put that on and see if it makes any difference. Now, before we get into that, as it stands, I haven't seen the, uh, the Suron kit, but the reviews on that are awful, so I figured why bother? This is actually very high quality stuff. I've been pretty impressed. You know, I'm not using it to pedal and I'm not riding this on the road, but what this allows me to do is ride it on the road, not feel guilty, get to the trails I want to ride on, and then just ride. And, you know, every once in a while I pretend that I'm pedaling if I'm on the street. Uh, in some states you don't need that, some people don't care. You know, I'm not uh, 25 years old anymore, so I just don't want to be bothered, and I wanted to see how this works. So what we're going to do is replace that chain quickly, see if it makes any difference. So let's take a look at how you do that. All right. First things first here is to get this hokey master link off. There's really nothing to it. You can just push on it with a screwdriver. If you have a pair of master link pliers, you can pop it off. I'm not gonna be able to film and pop that off at the same time. So I'm gonna take it off of there quick and then we'll take a look at the chain. All right, so here we are with the stock chain on the bench and the replacement chain. You can see the replacement is heavier duty. Sorry about the shadows there. And it's, uh, I got it off of Amazon, KMC K1 wide one speed chain. And it's a regular bicycle chain, so I've got a lot of links. Um, Masterlink is not reusable. 
versus the one that came with it, which is not much use after you take it off once. I am going to cut this chain to exactly the same length and try it and just see if it makes any difference. If I need to make a longer version, obviously I have enough chain to do that. So to start with, I'm gonna pop out the pin on one side. I've got a chain break tool that I'm gonna to use to do that. And uh, we'll put this thing back together on the bike and see how it goes. And if you haven't seen a chain breaker tool, this is really all there is to it. You put the chain in, you tighten this down so that the link is held in there. This is hollow. Then when we tighten this, it pushes the pin through and drives the pin and the chain out the other side. I use this on my motorcycles. It's a little heavy duty for this application. The pin's a little bit big, but I think it's going to work, so I'm going to give it a shot. And again, I can't do it in film, so uh, I'm just going to push it through and we'll show you the results. And now you've got a chain the right length and ready to go on the bike. So we're going to try this Hokie one-time use master link. Put it on the bike and see if this makes any difference. So the design of this master link, you can't close it unless you have slack in the chain. So in order to do that, I just remove the mounts for the pedal kit on both sides. I'm going to pop the chain on there and then tighten everything back up again. All right, and here we are on the bike. I gotta tell you, that was a little bit of a pain in the neck. This chain, it's got a little bit more slack in it, right, because it's just a tiny bit longer. I've got it lined up to the best of my ability. Seems to be running straight. And I'm gonna take it out and see if it makes any difference. All right, here we are in the sun. And instead of me telling you whether or not I think it makes a difference, let's just go for a ride. Again, you can see we've got a little bit of slack at that chain. I rode it around the yard, feels better. But uh, let's find out for sure. So, quick ride. Unlike my last quick ride, I put a one of my old aero stitch jacket, motorcycle jackets, over my hoodie. So hopefully this time I'm not frozen solid. All right, well, off we go. Let's. Uh, little off-road check. Feels good.
good so far. No complaints. <clears throat> Seems pretty normal to me. Days I gotta learn how to wheelie this thing. Just gotta learn how to get the pop. Okay, I'm gonna consider that ride successful, and this is definitely making less noise. So, to wrap it up, if you need a pedal kit for your Suron bike, I would highly recommend the, the Kaniwaba. Now, that stock chain is probably fine. You know, for $20, I think this one is a bit higher quality. And, you know, like I said, tiny little bit longer, have a tiny little bit of slack in there. So, all good. Um, in terms of installing it, it's, like I said in the beginning, really straightforward. The kind of Waba instructions are good. However, unless they've updated it recently, they basically tell you how to install the regular pedal kit and then how to add on the power kit to that. I mean, it's very intuitive. Once you get the brackets and the foot pegs off, I mounted the top sprocket, I put the chain on there, I connected it, put the uh, other sprocket on that bar in the middle, got it centered, added, the plates on both sides, the bearings on each side that kind of hold it in place. There's really nothing to it. And it is high quality. I expect that to last for a while. Now, when I ride it 100% off-road, I will pop that chain off of there and take the cranks off and just put the foot pegs back on. But for what I'm doing right now, this is totally fine. And like I said, if you need a pedal kit, I would recommend this. I think it's a I think it's a very good product. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your surround.